With rapid advancements in technology, we are on the cusp of a new era of human development where people can enhance their physical, cognitive, and sensory abilities beyond what nature intended. The possibilities are both exciting and daunting. As we enter this brave new world, what will it mean to be human? And at what point do we stop being human altogether? On today's show, we will be taking a closer look at human augmentation and what it might mean for mankind. So, what is human augmentation? Human augmentation refers to the use of technology to enhance or expand the capabilities of human beings beyond their inherent biological limits. The concept of human augmentation has been explored extensively in science fiction and pop culture, with countless movies, books, video games, and TV shows featuring characters who have been enhanced with advanced technology or special abilities. These depictions reflect our fascination with the idea of transcending our physical and cognitive limitations, and perhaps an innate desire to be more than what we are. While the technologies depicted in these works of fiction may still be way off, as technology continues to rapidly advance, the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. Human augmentation has a long and fascinating history that spans thousands of years. The earliest forms of human augmentation were likely simple tools and simple weapons, such as sharpened stones and spears, which allowed early humans to hunt more effectively and defend themselves against predators. Later, the invention of agriculture allowed humans to augment their strength and endurance as they no longer needed to spend as much time hunting and gathering. As technology advanced, humans developed more sophisticated forms of augmentation, such as prosthetic limbs. In ancient Egypt, wooden prosthetic toes and feet have been found, suggesting that people at the time were already exploring ways to replace lost or damaged body parts. Similarly, in ancient Rome, soldiers who lost limbs in battle were fitted with iron prostheses that allowed them to continue fighting. In the Middle Ages, people who had lost their teeth due to disease or injury sometimes used dentures made from animal teeth or human teeth extracted from corpses. These early dentures were often uncomfortable and difficult to wear, but they allowed people to eat and speak more easily. Knights and soldiers in the Middle Ages often wore heavy suits of armor to protect themselves in battle. This armor allowed them to withstand blows from swords and other weapons that would have otherwise killed or injured them. Overall, human augmentation in the Middle Ages was limited by the technology and knowledge of the time, but it did exist in various forms. Over time, humans developed more advanced technologies, such as eyeglasses to improve vision, ever more advanced prosthetic limbs to replace lost ones, and hearing aids to improve auditory function. In the 20th century, Medical science led to the development of a range of life-saving surgeries and medical interventions, such as organ transplants, pacemakers, and drugs that would treat various human diseases and make life more bearable for patients. These technologies have allowed people to augment their bodies in ways that were previously impossible and have saved countless lives. Today, human augmentation continues to rapidly evolve, with new technologies and innovations being developed and tested all the time. Some of the most promising areas of research include brain-computer interfaces, exoskeletons, and genetic engineering. Brain-computer interfaces BCIs, are systems that allow people to interact with computers and other devices using their thoughts. BCIs have enormous potential for people with paralysis or other disabilities, as they could enable individuals to control prosthetic limbs or communicate with others using their thoughts alone. Some early-stage research has even shown that BCIs could be used to enhance cognitive abilities, such as memory and attention. The research on these interfaces is being done within both the academic environment as well as private companies. Neuralink, founded by serial entrepreneur and billionaire Elon Musk, is one of the more well-known companies trying to advance the state of brain-computer interfaces. By using miniaturized electrodes called neural threads in precise robotic surgery, the goal is to read signals generated by the brain at a much higher resolution than before while minimizing any damage to the soft tissue of the brain. Another example of modern augmentation are exoskeletons, which are wearable devices that augment the strength and endurance of the human body. They can be used to help people with mobility impairments to walk, as well as to assist workers in physically demanding jobs. 
Some exoskeletons are designed to be worn by soldiers or emergency responders to provide enhanced strength and protection in dangerous situations. Smartphones and smartwatches are other examples of wearable technology that are already augmenting humans in numerous ways. These devices have become ubiquitous in modern society and allow us to communicate instantly with anyone, anywhere in the world, and to access vast amounts of information on any topic at any time. They have transformed the way we live and work and have in many ways enhanced our cognitive and communicative abilities. Smartwatches provide us with real-time information about our health and fitness, tracking our activity levels, heart rate, and sleep patterns. In addition, we are on the verge of entering the age of augmented reality, VR, and mixed reality glasses. These devices have the potential to have a significant impact on a number of different areas of our lives. These glasses use advanced technology to overlay digital information and imagery onto the real world, or even replace the real world with an artificial virtual world, creating new and immersive experiences for the wearer. One of the most immediate impacts of augmented reality glasses is likely to be in the world of work. These glasses have the potential to transform the way we work by providing workers with real-time access to information and guidance in a wide range of industries. For example, Architects could see digital overlays on building plans, allowing them to make important modifications in the planning stage and to present their ideas to stakeholders. In the field of education, augmented and virtual reality could also have a significant impact. Students could use these technologies to interact with digital models of historical artifacts, scientific simulations, or other educational resources, enhancing their understanding and engagement with the material. Finally, these devices could have a significant impact on social interaction and communication. By overlaying digital information and imagery onto the real world, these glasses could create new and innovative ways for people to connect and communicate with each other. As the field of human augmentation continues to rapidly evolve, there are many other upcoming technologies that have the potential to further transform human abilities and enhance our quality of life. Genetic engineering, which involves modifying the genes of living organisms, has the potential to dramatically enhance human abilities and prevent or cure genetic diseases. Techniques like CRISPR-Cas9 allow scientists to edit DNA with unprecedented precision, opening up new possibilities for treating genetic disorders or enhancing cognitive or physical abilities. Bioprinting allows scientists to create three-dimensional structures using living cells. This technology can be used to create replacement organs or create biological implants that integrate with the body's own tissues, such as skin or bone, all without triggering the body's immune response. Another area of research with great potential are the use of nanobots. These tiny machines, operating at the molecular or cellular level, have the ability to revolutionize medical treatments by delivering drugs precisely to diseased cells, repairing damaged tissues, and performing intricate surgeries. Due to the highly targeted nature of this technology, it minimizes the potential for side effects and improves treatment efficacy. These technologies will continue to fundamentally reshape and augment humans and allow us to grow beyond our biological limitations. They will help us to free ourselves from diseases that have afflicted mankind since the dawn of time. They might even allow us to extend human lifespan or achieve immortality in the future. However, the topic of human augmentation is complex and raises many important questions about what it means to be human. As we merge with machines in a world where technology can be used to enhance our physical and cognitive abilities, what will this mean for our sense of identity? Will it change what it means to be authentically human? For example, if someone has a brain implant that improves their memory or intelligence, some people might wonder whether they are still the same person they were before. This can be an important question for people who are considering using these technologies, as it can impact their sense of identity and the way they relate to others. As human augmentation becomes more widely available and used, it is also important to ensure that they are accessible to everyone and do not create new forms of inequality or discrimination. Humanity must be careful to consider the potential impact of these technologies on different groups of people and work to ensure that they are used in a fair and equitable way. By working together and engaging in thoughtful and inclusive conversations, we can develop an ethical and responsible approach to human augmentation that benefits all of humanity. Thank you for watching the first episode of Curiosity Brew. 
where we aim to provide food for thought on important questions and topics of our time. If you enjoy this sort of educational content, consider subscribing to our channel so that we can bring you more interesting topics in the future.